Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We need to talk about some SBCs that are coming up in FIFA Ultimate Team that you guys need to be prepared for um, that are going to be coming out here in about a week or so um, based on what happened last year and what's been going on with these SBCs the past two years in FIFA Ultimate Team. And as you probably would have guessed, these are the PFA Player of the Year and Young Player of the Year. SBCs. Now we have the short list for who is nominated for these awards um, on the Sporting Life website. The PFA tweeted it out earlier this week. We have Aguero, Van Dyke, Eden Hazard, Sadio Mane, Bernardo Silva, Raheem Sterling. Um, we're all nominated for the Player of the Year in the Premier League. Then for the Young Player of the Year, we have Alexander Arnold, Brooks, Rashford, Declan Rice, and then Bernardo Silva and uh, Raheem Sterling nominated for this award as well so we're going to get an SBC for the young player of the year and for the player of the year so both cards last year if you remember and we'll look at these again in just a second we had the Mohamed Salah player of the year card and the Leroy Sané young player of the year card we both we got SBCs for both of those cards um, and I want to talk about these cards here just for a second um, last year obviously Salah was on a um, was on a tear he was having a mental year um, and his card was really good. The, the card that you get from this SBC, it was a very good card, and it actually matched his team of the season card in price uh, or in statistic rating. Um, the the S, or the card that we're going to get from this player of the year SBC will be the same as the team of the season card that will follow here in a couple of weeks. We found that out in the past couple of years. So this is basically like getting a team of the season card early and getting it with a sweet dynamic image of them accepting the award at the award ceremony, which is, according to the according to this website, um, it is on the 28th, Sunday the 28th in London, is the award ceremony for this. So be following the PFA on Twitter um, and be following um, them on that website on Twitter. Get their notifications turned on because they will tweet when the winner is announced. Um, and that can also provide some investing implications. Um, we know who wins. Maybe we need to go pick up their special card really quick before they rise into the hype. You know, some stuff like that since we know what player will be getting the SBC. But I want to look into some requirements that um, you could basically invest for any of these SBCs based on who wins. So obviously they're all Premier League related. So we're going to look at some Premier League golds and some informs. Um, but we're going to take a look at some of the favorites as well, which for player of the year, I would say a lot of people would agree that it's kind of between Van Dyke, Aguero, and Sterling, maybe with Hazard thrown in there as well. And then the young player of the year should be Sterling. Now, if he wins player of the year, I don't know if he can also win young player of the year or if that if he can win both awards. That'll be an interesting situation if that happens. Um, but we'll stay tuned. Excuse me. We'll stay tuned. Um, to what is going on with these awards get Twitter notifications on make sure you're following them on Twitter at PFA um, To stay up to date with some of this um, Information that's going to be coming out on the 28th of, of April So we'll be staying tuned on that day, but let's start to look at some investments We're going to refresh the page to get the most accurate rating of these high rated gold cards But a lot of them have dropped we had a lightning rounds this weekend with team of the knockout stage promo and also we had squad battle rewards um, right before I recorded this video. So these cards have dropped a lot. They were around 20,000 coins for the 86s. And these, the 85 and the 86s right now are really an area that I like to look at based on some of the prices that I'm seeing. Especially this Odomendi down here at 18,000 coins. Now I have a few that I've already picked up on my transfer list. Um, I know I'm not a huge guy that likes to invest and go unassigned and all kinds of stuff. Um, on gold cards for something like this, but you know, Odomendi rises to over 25,000 coins when there is a popular SBC that comes out, and these Player of the Year SBCs are definitely going to be popular, at least um, in the hype. I would expect an Odomendi card or an Ederson card, you know, these 86 rated Premier League um, Man City players, I would at least expect them to rise over 20,000 coins in the hype. So if you can get them. Uh, somewhere around like the 19,000 coins. I've usually been paying 18,000 coins or less. Um, get them on bid, get them on snipes. Um, get them this week because 
um, the later that you wait, and that's why I'm putting this video out here um, pretty pretty early on, you know, a, a week ahead of the actual SBC coming out. Um, I really want to show you guys the investment opportunity with this and before a lot of other people do because it's really better to get in early before everybody else does that way you're you know the price of the card rises as everybody else as in, is investing and you already are invested so there's some good gold cards basically any premier league gold card 85 rated um or above even some 84s if you can pick up maybe um a gundawan he's got very 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 good links uh what's he going for right now he was pretty high. It looks like he's still a little bit high for my liking. 5,000 coins. If you see this one hit somewhere around the closer to 4,000 coin range, I would like that for the 84. Same thing with like an 84 Bernardo Silva um, or maybe a Socrates as well. If you can get them lower than 4,000 coins, that would be a great deal for them. But again, the 85s and the 86s, even a guy like Company. Now, I really like to focus on the Man City players because there are so many of them that are nominated um, for the player of the year awards with Bernardo Silva, with Aguero, and with Sterling, uh, I feel like one of those guys is bound to win, with the most likely being Sterling. So a lot of Manchester City investments, you're going to see a lot of people recommending this type of stuff, and I guarantee you there will be some type of Manchester City requirement in the SBC if they format it like they did in years past, which I would imagine that they would. So we're looking at some gold cards. You're going to need high rated Premier League cards regardless. So any high rated Premier League player is a good investment as well. And as we looked at a lot of those prices, they are pretty low. Um, Otamendi being a great, a great deal because center backs rise up more because you need chemistry for a lot of these squads um, for that matter only. But we're going to look at gold informs as well from the Premier League and see where they're at because informs are also a very necessary requirement. Now a lot of these are inflated already, but there are a couple of them that I do think could be pretty solid informs. Uh, ben Mee at 23,000 coins. He has a lot of supply on the market. We'll take a look at his card. He was a previous team of the week um, investment that a lot of people invested in and he never really rose. Um, but if you go on the market and look at his supply, he has tons and tons of supply. But um, that's, I mean, he's only going to get bought up and he's only going to get continually put into SBCs um, if he, um, if there is an inform requirement. So his price will go up if there is an inform requirement. It's one of those cards that I would maybe stay away from going um, a ton of, investing in a ton of these cards. I would rather you go invest in a bunch of Otamendi's at 18K than buy a bunch of 83 rated Ben Mees at 23K. So that would be, that's not the best investment in my opinion, the informs right now, it doesn't look to be the best, um, but there are a few of them that are pretty good. And actually, if you look at this week's team of the week, we'll take a look at this for, for a second right here. Uh, the Char and the Frasier, both of these cards um, for 86 rated informs in the Prem, they're kinda low, so keep your eye on a few of these. If you see them low 30s, maybe you can get a couple on bid. That could be a very good investment. And then English Informs as well. This one, I think, is going to be a favorite for a lot of people to invest in. But I understand why. If Sterling would win the award and it would require an English Inform um, in any of the squads or an Inform with Premier League players, you, you're going to be able to get some links, um, maybe with some other English high-rated golds um, or other English golds in the game. This would be a good investment to link for an English Inform requirement. 84 rated, 19,000 coins for an 84 rated inform is pretty good, especially with the English rating. Even though he's in the EFL Championship, Dwight Gale, uh, still a pretty solid investment in my opinion for that card right there. Um, but again, the informs, you know, the high rated golds, that's kind of the majority of what was required for this SBC. If we go back and look at Leroy Sané, you needed a Manchester City player, four Premier League players, two Team of the Week players, and an 85 team rating and 85 chemistry. That's the big ticket for an SBC like this. That's where a guy like Otamendi would get boosted up even greater, and especially in Ederson, because you're, that would be a really easy way to get some chemistry there and to get some rating for Premier League players with those two guys. And since you need that high chemistry rating, you really need to have people in position. So um, the Ederson, the Otamendi, the company, the Gundawan, the Socrates maybe as well would be great investments for an SBC, SBC that would be just like this inside of the player of the year SBC. Now, 
on to the SB or to the uh, requirement that a lot of people have invested in, and that would be a special item of the actual player's card. Now, last year Leroy Sane had an inform, and the inform went crazy. Obviously, he that card was invested in, but it boomed um, and stayed high in price because of this SBC. So, let's look at a couple of these special cards of players that. Um, are towards the front running of this SBC to win. Obviously, there's been a lot of people that have invested in these Sterling special cards already. I'm kind of staying away from it because I feel like uh, the initial wave of investing has already happened and they're still pretty inflated. Um, but some of these cards are pretty low and you can see that a lot of people have these cards listed for lazy buyers right now as I'm six pages in on Sterling and I'm still in the first minute. That to me is somebody who has a ton of those cards and they're just listing them up for lazy buyers at the moment. Um, that's what I see there. But some of these cards have already risen a decent bit. So I don't think this is the best investment. Um, I would really look to say um, that this would be something that you would wanna keep an eye on just in case they don't require it. If they don't require a special Sterling, you're gonna see his card prices tank. There are a lot of people invested in that right now, and it is a possible investment, but I would stay wary, and if you're gonna end up doing the SBC, I would say it's probably not a good idea to buy this card beforehand and just take the, uh, you know, pay whatever price you have to when the SBC comes out, because when the SBC comes out, regardless of whether that this Inform or any of the Sterling or Van Dyke or Aguero special cards are required, you're gonna see a lot of people selling off their investments. Um, whether he's required or not, you're gonna see that price maybe not go up as high as it originally would because people have invested, um, especially in the Van Dyke informs as well. I mean, this this card price is very, very inflated right now, being 400,000 coins because he is one of the favorites for player of the year. Um, you're gonna see this tank because so many people have invested. Um, same thing with the UCL cards. People have invested in those as well. Um, I do think it is a possible a possibility requirement that we would get another requirement of the special cards for that player, um, but they have to make the SBC expensive somehow, and that is one way to do it. I just don't know. They can definitely come up with other ways to make the SBC expensive and not require a special version of the player. So we'll kind of have to see where that goes, and especially with some of these cards like Van Dyke. He had just got a 93 rated team of the knockout stage card and he has a 95 rated team of the season card or a team of the year. And in years past, nothing has ever topped the team of the year cards rating. Um, I think I'm correct in saying that, but what if this year they do it differently and maybe he gets a 96 rated team of the season or a 97 rated um, player of the year card? I don't know if that's a possibility or not. My initial reaction to this is that he would be an 80 or he would be a 94 rated uh, card. I do think if Van Dyke wins, he'll get a 94 just because they like to keep that team of the year being the highest version. So again, it's almost like investing for a player of the month SBC. You're gonna be looking at high rated golds from the Premier League. It's gonna be required by all of these squads. And especially for guys like Sterling, guys like Van Dyke, um, I'm not super familiar with their backgrounds. Um, I haven't done a lot of research on that. I know that Van Dyke played at Southampton, but you know, maybe look at some past clubs, like where did Sterling play? Um, before he was at Manchester City. Maybe there's some investments there that you could invest in. Um, a certain team, like we looked at last year, we had the Leroy Sané up, um, and he had a SBC featuring his former club, Schalke. Um, so that's an option as well. Maybe look into Sterling, Van Dijk, Aguero, any of their former teams, um, and possibly find an investment there with a high, higher rated gold, middle 83, 84 rated card. That would be a possibility there as well. But again, I think the most popular investment is going to be those special cards. And I can show you guys as well in my club right now that I do not have any of them. Maybe I had a Sterling at one point. I don't think I still do. Um, just because I don't really think that those investments are really... Um, if you're in them already, hold tight. Hold on. And uh, hold on for your dear life. Just because if they aren't required, that's going to be a big loss. Uh, but if they are required... Um, you, you'll definitely make some money there and you're probably already making some money in the hype. Um, so that's for people that already may have Sterling's or Van Dyke special cards. Um, and if we do get a surprise winner, I wanna talk about this because it's happened in the past. Let's say that Raheem Sterling wins the player of the year award. 
and then he maybe that makes him ineligible for young player of the year a guy like Bernardo Silva let's say he is uh let's say he wins you could see this UCL rare card since it is his cheapest version of his special card which is a little bit inflated right now already or maybe this man of the match you could see some of these prices increase a lot that's why i told you guys or make sure that you have the twitter notifications turned on for the pfa player of the year account um, right here at pfa on twitter make sure you have those notifications turned on you can make some quick thinking fast reaction investments based on what you see from who is winning those awards if you're watching the ceremony live or if you have Twitter notifications turned on, maybe Bernardo Silva wins, you can go out and pick up a couple of his inform card really quick for 40,000 coins before it shoots up to extinct at 100K um, because of the possible SBC that could be coming. I mean, this is his highest rated card this year, the 88 rated man of the match. This is a pretty sick card. If he would win this award, I mean, you're gonna see some very insane stat boosts, um, especially on a guy like Sterling. Um, since he doesn't have a team of the year card kind of hovering over top um, of his possible award PFA card. So again, there's going to be a lot of investments for this. It's almost basically like a player of the month uh, investing in the same way, except a little bit more emphasis on that certain player special card. But be careful in that court category. Other than that, I think you have the green light to go in on some high rated gold cards from the Premier League. Maybe some informs if we get a, an inform in this week's team of the week that is a uh, Premier League that's maybe 84 to 86 rated, another Frazier or Shar, um, somebody like that, that would be a pretty good investment in my opinion as well. Um, so we'll have to take a look at that. You know, when we see the team of the week this week, we'll be able to make some adjustments accordingly um, and invest in the meantime in what's low, and that is the golds and maybe a few of the informs. So keep an eye on that. I do think it's going to be a very hype SBC that we'll get. Um, and last year, a lot of people did them, even though they were very expensive, just because the dynamic image was so stinking sweet, um, as you see here again on the Leroy Sané card. So if you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions regarding player of the year and investing for it. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the photo Catch you guys later. Peace out.